way our brain works is a funny thing and our mind can actually deceive us based on our own perceptions. And I had avoided going to Waco Mammoth National Monument because I kind of got in the back of my mind that it was probably cheesy and a waste of time. And I really wish I hadn't allowed myself to believe my thoughts because Waco Mammoth National Monument is truly an incredible place. And I want to try and share with you what my feelings are when I actually go down there. And I went down there for the first time about six months ago because I was just looking for something uber cheap to do with my next door neighbor and her two grandsons. And I thought, well, you know, they were watching the movie Ice Age. So how cheesy can this thing down in Mammoth be? And then we'll pop over to Dinosaur State Park and we'll just have a Jurassic Park kind of day. I could not have been more wrong. I'm sorry if my voice doesn't match up with what you're seeing, but I want to tell you stuff that is not necessarily facts, but what I saw. And what you see when you get down there is mind boggling because you see archeological digs on television and in news and media, but until you're standing over the bones that are still halfway in the ground, there's just no words. I just don't know how to put into words the feelings and, and the thoughts that I was having. It, it's almost, it's so emotional because these are creatures that literally stood 14 feet high. And there's a mural of Mammoth Q, who is the only male and he's painted up on the wall as you walk in and you can stand up next to him and get a real perspective of how big he was, bigger than modern day elephants. And he died right there and his body is keeled over and you see how he died. And he is so perfectly preserved, his bones are. And you just marvel at the find because it's not just him. They have unearthed 17 complete skeletons of female mammoths, Colombian mammoths, and they are the world's only find of a nursery herd. And a nursery herd is a group of females that are basically nursing the babies. And one thing that amazed me, I, you know, misconception thanks to Hollywood, thought they were more family type oriented creatures but they kicked the males out as they entered puberty and so this male was just wandering along when he died we don't know why he was there we don't know what caused him to come to this little oasis in the middle of texas during the ice age but he did and we also know that there's a big time gap between when he arrived at this spot and the female nursery herd because you can see that his body is buried at a much different depth than all the females and the other animals that were there. This is undeniably one of the best trips to a national monument that I've made and I would strongly encourage anyone who is in the Waco area to make the trip. It's so worth it.